Hi, you guys. Hello. Lindsay and Abby here again. And you guys all seem to really love the full seat adjustment that we did on the Chi Town Chino skirt. We loved it too. Yes, and I love my new corduroy skirt. It's just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought we would try and show you guys how to do a full seat adjustment on pants. Um, obviously, there are elements to pants that make full seat adjustments a little bit, or just fitting pants in general, like a little bit more complicated. Um, there are many, many d different kinds of alterations that you can do to pants in addition to the full seat adjustment. For example, there is crotch depth, there's crotch curve, there's the sway back, there's a full front, there's a full or thin thigh, there's a full or thin calf, and it goes on and on. So if your pants aren't fitting and you do a full seat adjustment, they may still not fit. You may have to do other adjustments. This curve here, the crotch curve, can cause so many problems when it comes to fitting. But as we know with Abby, she needs a full seat adjustment. We've already determined, determined that. So we are going to start off this pattern with a full seat adjustment and kind of see where we land. And that's really how I fit pants. I'll start with my size. I'll do the things I know I have to do. And then I'll make a muslin. And then I'll adjust the fit. And then or I'll assess the fit. And then I'll adjust it on the muslin. Then I'll make another muslin. Um, and kind of go back and forth like that until I get a perfect fit. Um, if you want to work on a full seat adjustment, but you're nervous about pants, try it on shorts. It's actually a little bit easier to do it on shorts than it is on pants, simply because you don't have to worry about anything from like the mid thigh down. So all of the fitting through the thigh doesn't really come into, um, doesn't really affect it that much. Obviously the calf doesn't at all. Um, length is not a huge deal when it comes to shorts. There's a lot of freedom there. So if you want to try some of these adjustments, but you don't want to jump into pants yet, shorts is a good in between a skirt and pants. Okay. So today, like I said, we're only going to be doing a full seat adjustment. We're not going to be worrying about crotch curve, crotch depth, thin thigh, thick full thigh. We're not going to be worrying about any of that. We're only going to do the full seat adjustment. And I think that that will fit, fix a lot of the problems Abby currently has with these pants. So you'll see here, this is the version of the, um, we're working on the ultimate trousers by sew over it. And this version that we took pictures of Abby in that you're seeing now um, was made, what, in a size 10? Size 10. I sewed them up and they were super tight yes. <laughs> through the butt, um, but couldn't wear them. So I sent Lindsay a picture and she said, well, the only thing you can really do at this point is take um, some without, no, add some width through the back only. So I ripped out all the side seams and moved the back side seam out as far as possible, keeping the front side seam at the 5 eighths. Yes. Um, so that made them wearable, but obviously yes. like, there's still issues. There's still issues. Yeah. I think so. namely, I mean, you'll see, you'll notice in the front that there is a lot of the smile and frown lines going on along the front. And I think that that has to do with the crotch curve. Um, also the front pulls down in the center front and I think that has to do with the crotch depth there but when you get to the back even though we added that width for the hip um, you can still see how the facing is wanting to like roll out and that's because there's not enough height in the back rise or the crotch um, depth to accommodate for Abby's bum. So just like in the skirt where we had to add that half an inch to the center back to give room for it to smoothly go over her bum, we're gonna have to do that again. And then we're gonna add fullness radiating from the center to the sides, similar to how we did to the skirt, but there's a lot more areas of impact, I guess, if you wanna call it that, that we have to look at when it comes to pants. Um, so like I said, I feel like this adjustment is gonna help a lot of those things and then we'll have to see where we end up after she sews up this muslin and then maybe we'll do a follow-up if anything um, we'll just talk about it in an upcoming um, favorites video or yeah. if we don't do the full-on 
adjustment video. We'll, we'll keep you guys posted on Instagram or somewhere here and let you know how it's going. I hope this is all I need because I really want to get these pants on my body. Yeah. <laughs> you really will have the ultimate trousers whenever we're done. Oh, yes. one more thing before we get started. I know it's kind of rambly here in the beginning, but I did want to say that this was a really good pattern to start with when you're doing alterations because it doesn't have a fly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have back pockets. It doesn't have, you know, any pockets in the front even. It's very, very simple, straightforward pattern that has darts in the front and darts in the back and darts are really great for fitting because you know they're already there to make it three-dimensional and so they only allow it to be done they'll allow the adjustments to be done even easier since they're already kind of marked for you but this is a good pattern it only has four pieces to it um so you know very very basic pattern so you can really play around with the adjustments and see what is fitting, what's working, what helps, what doesn't help, and so on. Cool? Yes. Let's, Let's do get it. started. Who's excited? I'm okay, so yeah, here we are again with all the supplies that you need. Abby has already traced her pattern. So initially, she made a size um, 10 because she had measured herself incorrectly, incorrectly <laughs> and she thought her waist was bigger than it actually is. So when we measured her last time, she was 26.5. So we're going to size her down to a size eight. And then if you go down to the finished garments for the hip, you'll see the finished garment is 38 inches for the hip. Abby measures 39 in, um, inches. So we are going to add, we're going to do a, a one inch full seat adjustment on the hip. So that's how you figure that out. Um, yeah, so we're sizing down, but adding room for the bum. So I think the sizing down is gonna help with the front fit mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. and then the adding the room in the bum is gonna help with the back. Okay, so the first step is to, we're gonna draw a whole bunch of lines on here. Okay. Um, we need the same materials we needed for the skirt. Mm -hmm. So take a look at all those. Um, you're gonna need to measure, you're gonna need to mark your seam allowances. Okay. From, from like here all the way around. I believe here, it's five eighths and all the way right? back. All righty. So the first step is to draw a line through the center of the dart, all the way through the dart point, and then extend it out like a couple of inches. Okay. So this is a one inch dart. So we're gonna kind of measure half an inch between the two of them and use that as the center point. Okay, perfect. Now, the next line that we are going to draw is going to be one that goes from the crotch through this line that we drew, going past the dart point a little bit. Um, that is really up to you. I'm not 100% sure what the difference is if you move the line up here versus down here. So I just like to kind of eyeball somewhere between half an inch and an inch in this area. So draw a line through here. And then once you get to this point, pivot the line and draw another diagonal line up to the intersection of the waist and the side seam. All the way through. The All the way through, yep. No, go past this. Oh. Yep, go past that. I'm sorry if I didn't tell you correctly. <laughs> go past that another inch or so. Okay. And then up through from there, all okay. the way up to this little okay. X that we made with the seam allowances. And stop at that point there. Okay. Um, the next line that we are gonna draw is gonna go from this line that we just made down to the inner leg inseam. So you just wanna come in a couple of inches and then draw the line straight diagonally down to the seam allowance, not all the way through. Perfect. And then we're going to draw another one from this part of the crotch curve down to the inseam again. So it's gonna be a shorter, um, more angled, line so um that one is going to go all the way through the um 
See what that one? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But not on the other side. Right. Okay, and then we're going to draw two lines parallel to each other that run from this line to the seam allowance line. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to enter insert some of those pivot points that we talked about in our skirt full seat adjustment. And again, this is just to help remind us to not cut all the way through because um, we're going to cut from both sides. We're going to cut all the way down this line this way and then we're also going to cut up this way. So the little pivot points just help you kind of remember to stop cutting. At least it should. Okay, okay. so we had a pivot point here, a pivot point here, really anywhere that they cross the seam allowance. So one here, one here. And we've got one here, and we've got one here. I'm not very good at drawing circles. <laughs> That's okay. It's just more of a visual than anything. Okay, so now we're going to get scissors. Where are the scissors? Right here. Okay, and you are going to cut all the way down the dart line, and you were going to. Oh, we need another pivot point. Sorry, forgot one. And you're going to stop at this pivot point here. So all the way down, but don't cut through the intersection. Okay. Yeah, it's you cut through the circle. By like. Did you, did you draw? Did you cut to the line? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Just That's go get some tape. Okay. This is how we're gonna mend it. <laughs> At, you did this on the skirt. I did. I was gonna say that before. <laughs> yeah, it should be in the bottom of that. Yeah. But I struggled with this task. <laughs> and just put a piece of tape over the circle. <sighs> Okay, and now recut, but okay. only to the edge of the, the edge circle. The edge of the circle. Okay, I'm sorry. I was going to cut to the... The opposite edge? Nope, to the middle of the circle. Nope, to the edge of the circle. Very good, perfect. Abby. Okay. So I should have done a better job. That was like a perfect circle, and those are all sloppy. But at least you know to stop, which is the whole point. I guess technically we don't need one here. I might have misspoke. Yeah, we're going to cut right through that. So you didn't need the circle. Sorry if I'm being confusing. So your next thing you're going to cut is this line through here. You're going to cut through the dart, which is why it was important to stop yes. just before so that you didn't cut this piece away. Um, so draw, cut through here and then up through here and stop at the edge of the circle at this corner. Okay. Perfect. Didn't do it that time. Yep. And then on this one, you're also going to cut from the cut line to the other edge of the circle. Okay. So from the corner there? Yes, like exactly. Just the edge of the circle. Yes, precisely. Okay. And while you're there, you're going to cut from here all the way down to the edge of the circle here. And then from here to here. And then you're going to do what you did on that opposite okay. corner. Cut through the cut line to the um, seam allowance. Or to the pivot point, however you want to look at it. Like that? Well, well I might have done it as if the line were continuing. But you can uh, leave it like, because it will still pivot. So the whole so point is way. we just want it to be able to rotate around. See. Yeah, so yeah, that's probably what I would have done. Mm -hmm. And then one... You're going to do the two lines here and then come through on the other end there. Okay. Okay. And this is all of the cutting that you need to do for the full C adjustment. You can see the crotch adds a whole other element to this, um, but we need to add width in different places. And so the only way to really do that is by making all of these cuts. Okay. So now that we've got all the cuts made, we're going to take the tracing paper and we're going to slide it underneath um, the pattern piece, like so. Throw it out of the way. Okay. Yep. And then if you want, you can cut that off. We don't really need it. Okay. Um, the whole roll. Okay. And... Alrighty, so here we are with our pants piece all kind of put in one place. Oh, I never traced the grain line. Whoops. Easy daisy. Okay, so we're going to, um, and similar to the skirt, we want the side seam to stay the same. And we, um, 
So we need to put the pins in like we did last time to kind of hold it down, just to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. You wanna put some in down there. So now we are going to open up, um, basically we're at this point, we are going to be widening the pants. So we're adding room for the hip now. Um, and so that's what this line here does. This line is all about the hip adjustment. Um, so just like we did with the skirt, um, we are only going to adjust, we're only adjusting half of the pants. So the full one inch needs to be divided by two because mm -hmm. we're only working on like the left butt cheek here. And then the other half an inch is gonna go on the right butt cheek whenever you um, cut out the fabric. So this needs to be opened up by half an inch. Okay. Oh, and you have the tape over there too. We can also put the pin in to hold it in place because okay. lots of things are gonna be moving around. Okay, so just moving this piece mm -hmm. over like that a half. Yep. Boom. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then now we are going, you can tell that this has changed the crotch curve. And remember in Abby's pants, the back um, waist was too, was pulling down. So we needed a lot of extra space in her, um, you know, added to the, the rise here. We need to add more to the crotch length. So we're gonna do that by moving this up, but you can't just move it all up here. It won't be evenly dispersed. You also need to move this here. So both of these adjust, both of these cuts, this cut and this cut affect the crotch length. You can see that mm -hmm. here. Um, so we'll take the one inch that we needed and we'll divide it between these two pieces. So this comes up half an inch and this goes out half an inch. but measure it at the seam line, not the cutting line. Okay, so you can see why we made these little cuts here. There ends up being a little bit of space in there and same thing with this. It ended up pulling up and out a little bit. All right, so now we need to fill in these gaps. We have this gap here on the waistband, and then we also have the gaps that we made in the crotch curve. And you can also see that now the line of the crotch curve is not nice and smooth anymore. So we need to um, kind of smooth that out so that it looks like a crotch curve. It's not all jaggedy, um, and that it's like one smooth crotch curve. So, okay, so now we're just going to continue this, make the little peak that's in there, and now you've got your waistband. And remember, even though we widened the um, legs of the dart, can I have the ruler? These are your new legs. But even though we widened it, it's all going to be taken out when Abby um, sews up the dart. And I wanted um, to address too, that just because there's one dart in the pattern, doesn't necessarily mean that it has to stay that way. Like when I do full seat adjustments, my dart ends up growing substantially. So what I like to do is take the, take the dart, the full dart, and divide it in two and then put two back darts in. Um, you may see two back darts in some ready to wear clothes. It's like not uncommon to have two back darts, especially if you've got like a really full bum. So don't feel like you have to try and like wedge up this like humongous dart. Mm -hmm. If it gets to be bigger than like, you know, two inches or so, I might consider doing um, two darts. But Abby's is like one and a half inches, so that's not that bad. Okay, and then for the crotch curve, I'm not 100% sure that there's a really good way to do this. There are all these rulers out here, French curves and hip curve rulers and different things like that. But you know, your crotch curve is so unique to you that I'm not 100% sure that you're gonna find one that is a total match. Okay, so yeah, so what you're going to do is keep the center back for a couple of inches the same and try and keep the first couple of inches of the like innermost 
crotch part. <laughs> I don't know how else to call yeah, it. I don't know that term um, and then you draw a line down to meet this other part of your crotch and then it's going to curve in ignore this i didn't mean to draw any of that boop, boop. and then all the way around follow the line and then kind of you're clipping off all of this is part of the pattern that's getting clipped off and what else all of this is part of the pattern that's getting clipped off and that's okay because you're just kind of smoothing things out a bit like so. So that's gonna be Abby's new crotch curve and really Abby's new pants pattern. Um, so we're gonna cut this out so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, we just wrap it up. So this is it. This is Abby's new pant Piece. We need to trace the um, grain line back yes, on here. Sorry, I forgot that. Um, and then we got her some muslin. Actually, mm -hmm. good tip. When Joanne has their clearance fabric on sale, so it's already red tagged, and then it's 50% off on top of that, we got Abby a kind of cute muslin fabric <laughs> Not um, too bad. that is a, actually a twill so mm -hmm. it's a similar in weight to what she would actually be using for this it's not like a quilter's cotton um and we got it for like 250 a yard yeah so um if it doesn't work out it's obviously not a big monetary loss and there's a chance a small one but a chance <laughs> she might actually like it you never know can i just say animal print yes <laughs> and i think that it should most of you should know what abby's obsession with animal print. yeah well and the the final version i want is also a animal type print right so yeah this one's a little more a little more loud than that yes but yeah so this is it this is what it looks like um again like yes i preface this by saying this is much much more complicated than the skirt so if this is intimidating you go make another skirt and do another full skirt adjustment mm -hmm. try the shorts if you want to do that it's all the same adjustments on a short um but the difference is is once you muslin this you're not going to have to worry about any of the fit really from the thigh all the way down um this is the only part that you have to really worry about fitting and the rest of it is very minor but when it comes to pants gosh you have like all the wrinkling below mm -hmm. the bum in the front and with shorts that's not as important because you know they just end they, they end. just stop yes. so but yeah so Abby's gonna muslin this and we will keep you guys posted in one way or another yes if you're dying for an update video <laughs> let us know yeah, let and us we know. can we can try and video it and and see where she ended up with these adjustments and what we're going to do next yes hopefully there's no next <laughs> yeah hopefully we'll it's perfect but i do feel like making the smaller front is going to help with her front issues and then making this smaller but with more room for the bubble butt is going to help with her um the the tightness in the back my concern now is with the wrinkling under the butt mm -hmm. and pulling back here that is my prediction. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. see. We'll Hopefully. see. Hopefully we can work it out. Yes. <laughs> but thanks for sticking with us through this one. If you're still here at the yes. very end through our complicated FSA tutorial. Um, good luck. Good luck. Let us know if you have some success with your FSA. Yeah. We'd love to hear that. Even if you just did the skirt. Yeah. We want to know that yeah. too. So many of you commented, which made us feel really good. Like... We helped. We helped. We love to help. That's why we're here. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we'll see all you right. all soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>